All right, I'm gonna start out by showing you guys how to get the Navionics app. So if you have an Apple, like I do, or an Android, you go to your app store, you go to your search, you type in Navionics Boating, right there. You scroll down and you're looking for Navionics Boating marine and lakes okay guys uh, when i bought the subscription it was 10.99 i believe it's 14.99 now um, you'll open that up and you'll download it mine's already downloaded so that's why it shows open uh, we're gonna click on open here uh, well i'll tell you what let's see well let's back up We're going to go to the Navionics. There's the icon right there on your screen, Navionics Boating. That's what get, you'll get once you download. So we'll open that up, and you see your lakes. So what you're going to do, let me zoom out here. So you can see the bright area. It's going to ask you to download a region. So what you'll do is you'll expand your region. Now, the more you download, the more memory it's going to take on your phone, guys. So I just have East Tennessee, as you see there. Um, so let's zoom in. We're going to take a look at Teleco Lake. Um, let's see, what area of Teleco do we want? Uh, let's go up here. Let's go up around the canal area, Teleco Loudon. As you can see, there's a lot of contour lines on this screen right now. Okay, um, That's good and bad. Um, I don't like a whole, whole lot of contours, as you can see. I mean, there's 60, 70 feet of water up there. Um, I'm typically not fishing that deep ever um, for crappie. It's doesn't matter what time of year it is. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of extra lines um, in that 60, 70 foot range, 45 foot range that we don't necessarily need. Now, there's a lot of good things you can do with Navionics. You can mark waypoints with Navionics. You can... Um, um, you know, track, lay down tracks with Navionics. It will follow you um, using your phone's GPS. You'll get a cursor on the screen as you're as you're moving through the water, um, and it'll follow you. It'll track your your trails. Um, you can lay down all kinds of stuff with Navionics. It's a really really great platform. Um, so we're gonna go through our our settings now. Um, we'll go to map options. Uh, we'll open that up, and we're going to roll down. So I'm going to show you the settings that I use to clean up the screen. Like we were talking about, a lot, a lot of contour lines on that screen. So let's clean those up and show you how I use it to locate structure during the summer. So water level, zero feet. Don't need to worry about that. Um, full pool right now. Shallow area, zero feet. Um, if you were... If your water level was down 10 feet, you could move it to negative 10 and it would change your contour lines. Your depth shading, we'll take your depth, take my depth shading down to zero. It takes that blue out. And you can see the map down there in the bottom where it took the blue out. Your depth contours, this is where we're going to clean up our, our contours. So I'll take that down and I typically take that down to about 30 feet. I'm typically not gonna, we'll do, we'll go to 35 for this illustration. So I typically don't fish anywhere more than 35 feet. So you can see it took a lot of those contours. It'll take everything out that's more than 35 feet. All contours over 35 feet will be taken out. Okay, so now here's what you pay for. This is why you buy the subscription, fishing ranges, okay? What I like, I like the pink color and what I'll do is I'll set that fishing range, and you can set multiple ranges with multiple colors, but I just typically set the range that I'm looking for that particular day or the time of year. So we're going to set that 15 to 25 feet. Okay, guys? We'll back up, and what you're going to see is everything 15 to 25 feet is now pink. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. All right, seabed area... <coughs> seabed excuse me seabed areas i leave that on i turn that on that shows you your river channel and your creek channel 
Um, that'll just show you the, like I said, the, the seabed, okay? It gives you an idea of, you know, if you're running and, and it's dark or something and you want to make sure you stay in that river channel, um, you can stay in that seabed area, okay? And that'll, that'll roll all the way down. You can see that river channel goes all the way down. That's a great way to run if, if you're confident enough to run at night with your GPS. I don't trust GPS. I'm not running at night with my GPS. But if you do, there you go. You can run your seabed. All right. So now you can see the pink area. We've got, again, 15 to 25 feet. In the summer, that is the area that I'm going to target looking for brush, looking for structure to find crappie in the summer months. Okay. That is a great, 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 great way. You can see already how much water we have eliminated. If it's not pink, I'm not looking in it. All right? Not to say that there won't be fish in that deeper water, or shallower water for that matter. But for time's sake, to locate structure in that depth range that I believe fish will hold in year-round, 15 to 25 feet, especially during the summer months, this is how I go about locating fish, especially on a new lake. If I go to a new lake, guys, and I'm trying to, trying to find structure and find fish fast, this is what I do. Now, let's go down here, and let's say, we, let's say it's springtime. We want to look 7 to 15 feet. 7 to 15, back up, it's changed our depths, it's changed our shading. Now you can see that pink is 7 to 15 feet. If I'm looking for structure in the spring, there's my, there's my depths for structure in the spring. In and out of the creeks, bays, let's, let's see if we can't find us a, there's a nice little ridge. A little saddle. Let's see if we can't find a bay. Here we go. You like the long line in the spring? Pull planer boards? That'd be a good area. Let's see if we can't find another one here. Here we go. There's a very large area right there. Of almost a flat, if you will. 7 to 15 foot deep. That would be a great area to troll in the springtime. So you can see how, again, those fishing ranges can really help you eliminate a lot of dead water when you're on the lake day in and day out. And like I said earlier, when you're on the water and you're driving your boat around, there's another big flat in the back of a creek. Um, Longliner's dream back there with the creek channel in it, as you can see. Um, so, yeah, guys, I mean, the fishing ranges can can really help you. Navionics boating um, marine and lake app is, is worth the money. Go spend the money. Um, it'll track you while you're on the lake using the uh, GPS on your phone. You'll get an icon, a cursor, that'll pop up, and it'll show you. You can set it to north. You can set it to the screen to turn while you turn. Um, however you like to, to set that up. And you can follow these colors. At that point, it's it's very easy just to get out there, unless you're colorblind, to follow your color um, on the screen and just watch your graphs. All you have to do is, is follow that color, that contour, um, and, and watch your graphs. So let's go down here. Um, let's say you want to go deeper. Let's say you want to go 19 to... Um, you know, 30 feet, 19 here. All right, so 19 to 30 feet. Again, it changes on the fly. It's that simple. 19 to 30 feet, stay in the pink. If that's, if that's the depth you're finding fish in that day, or if that's the depth you want to go to the lake and try to find structure in, it's that simple to do. A lot of guys read contours, and, you know, like when we first pulled it up, it can get confusing. It can get confusing for me when you're looking at that many contours on a lake. Um, 
it, it gets a little bit overwhelming. There's a lot, it's very busy, a lot of stuff going on on that screen. So this app allows you to clean that up to where you can better read it. Um, it's worth the money.